If you guys aren't in the air frying game yet, you are missing out. Today we're going to do a quick review on the GoWise 7 quart air fryer. Let's go take a look. Welcome back. Now let's get cooking with TGG. And by the way, if you don't have a spreader, this is the old Pamper Chef stainless steel 2 inch by 5 inch spreader with the passive can. It's a freaking spreader from Pamper Chef. Go to our link down below in the description. Don Jack, you have a Pamper Chef link. You can buy one of these. All right, there it is. Seven quart Go Wise air fryer. And let me tell you, I hear so many people say, I don't have room, I don't have space. I live in a very small house with a very small kitchen. I got my Keurig coffee maker. I got my coffee, I got my sugar, and of course I've got my seven quart. Yes, I said seven quart Go Wise air fryer. Why do I make a big deal about seven quart? Because everybody's like, oh, they're too big. I can't put them anywhere. There's not going to have enough room under my cupboards. Listen, I'm going to give you measurements. Go big or go home. You can always put smaller stuff in a larger pan, but you can't put larger food in a smaller pan, right? Makes sense. You can't fit a square peg in a round hole. That's what I'm talking about. Seven quart, only way to go. Right out of the gate, man. I love the color right everything in your kitchen is either silver black boring blah 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 boom there's a nice teal turquoise i don't know what you call that color but i think it's freaking awesome cooking makes me happy especially when you're cooking with tgg first thing we want to do let's measure this thing to show everybody how big it is to fit in your kitchen all right if you can see it 14 inches tall i repeat it's only 14 inches tall the top of this dude is only 11 inches wide i mean what's the base 13 14 inches 11 at the top, not too big folks, not too big at all. This thing couldn't get more simple. Pull out the drawer, you got your pan right there. It's more of an overall rectangular pan than it is round, but I'll show you the measurements on this. The inside of the pan is actually 10 and a half long by about nine and three quarters wide. A nine inch by nine inch square or round will fit in there absolutely perfect. How deep is our tray? I'm gonna tell you it's about four and a half inches deep to the pan. What I like about this is it's all in one, right? I mean, it's one pan. It doesn't have a liner that you gotta lift and pick out. It's just one. You put it in, you pull it out. It does come with the rectangle liner that does have the uh, non-stick surface. It does have the silicone stops on the sides. So do not throw those out, I repeat. I even call go eyes. Do not throw out when it says remove packaging. Folks at home, if your air fryer has silicone stops, that's there for a reason. Keep your tray in the bottom when you're dumping food. I don't dump the food. I enjoy picking it out right there. So I bought silicone tongs. I go reach in. I pull out my food. We're good to go. Fries or something like that. I could help them along the way. So it does come with three stackable trays. You can see right there. Not a ton of room in between, but... Stack those bad boys in there, and you got three dehydration trays, or my opinion, I'm going to do wings, and uh, that's how I'm going to cook some wings, I'm going to try some different things, if you want to cook meat on the bottom, throw this on top, cook your veggies, put your asparagus, your broccoli, do what you got to do, but it does come with the three stacking trays. Go ahead and turn the power button on, and there you go, that was my last setting, 370 degrees, at 15 minutes so without all these fancy buttons or getting intimidated I go over here and I adjust the temperature so the lowest temp as far as the temperature manual control is 180 and I can tell you the top end on this for manual is going to be at 400 there is a setting on here however that you can dehydrate I believe that's like 90 degrees you can go for like 24 hours plus but that's your basic air fryer mode you're going to have a roasting mode, a grill mode. There's your dehydration mode, bake mode. You got a reheat mode for meals, and you got to keep warm mode. Without getting intimidated on these modes, these are just presets with certain time and certain temperature. That's all it is. So far, I've only been working on the manual end and have had a ball. But get yourself a silicone mat because it does get a little bit warm, and you don't want to damage your, your countertop underneath, and they sell them all over. So as far as size, being a 7 quart, go large, folks. If you have the space, which isn't much, it's not too obtrusive. I think it's nice, actually. They do have black, silver, different colors. I got the turquoise. But go with the larger pan. Like I said, you could always go smaller. Without issues, I put six eggs in here to do air fry boiled, right? Hard boiled eggs I did. I did four beautiful pork chops, two inch thick, 
four big pork chops for the fam right there. Let's see how those turned out. I did some beautiful biscuits in here. Cheese garlic biscuits with almond flour for a healthy keto low carb recipe. No problems. Like five minutes I was done. I mean, if you're not in the air frying game, you gotta get into it. This unit right here, GoWise 7 quart electric air fryer goes anywhere from 79 to about 114 bucks. I think we got ours at Bed Bath & Beyond with a 20% coupon. You gotta see which better. They got them on Amazon. Check it out. Check out the reviews. Um, they've made a couple folks top 10 reviews so that's where I saw it and went with it and I'm super happy for the money I don't think you can beat it and they make it really simple cooking for dummies like me I have only had the go wise 7 quart electric air fryer a short time but I could tell you right out of the gate it's gonna be phenomenal I love it so far it's quick it's easy easy to clean up and the meals are consistent so far. My pork chops came out beautiful, as thick as they were. Had I done that on the grill, I would have dried them out and probably burnt the edges. So, love my air fryer. If you're not an air frying game, get in the game now. Cook fresh, cook often, and keep cooking with TGG.